Representative right. Lucina will be added in an amendment. That there will be a date. Correct. So it's going to be up to the state of Missouri then to watch any new federal regulations coming down and we can fix it as it comes down, but it'll give the state the opportunity to do that, to determine if those laws are something we want to abide by. And I mean, as long as we manage that regulation as a state, the federal regu regulation going forward, we should be okay. Are you still uncomfortable with that? Or? That's directly yeah, to, to you, me. yeah. I, well, I guess obviously there's, there's going to be a time lag between uh, federal legislation that, that's passed before uh, any amendments or changes can be made here. Um, I'm still concerned, but I don't know yet what that would be simply because I don't know what the, the federal laws would be, if that makes any, any sense to you. Well, I'm kind of going through the thought, thought process with you, and you know, maybe we need an amendment that says a new federal law, this won't apply for a year to give us a chance in Missouri to adapt to it. But I think you still run into the, the problem if we take the U.S. Attorney, files an indictment, presents a, or continues on with a federal criminal charges, is the U.S. Attorney then violating the, the directives of this bill and is, is the U.S. Attorney guilty of a Class D felony? I would say I would say yes, they are. If 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 there's a bill that comes to us in January of 2015, a federal law, and Missouri says no, that's not going to apply. If the federal attorney then came and tried to bring charges against a Missouri resident who violated that, yes, that attorney would be in violation. I think that's probably the intent intent of this bill. I mean, I I don't know if I see that as a problem necessarily. I don't think there's a bill. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Representative Colonna. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Tim Clark. Please proceed.